How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again and today I have a different kind of video for today. It is going to be a Q&A type video because I went on my channel, I put up on a community post asking you guys, you have any questions for me? Feel free to ask. Halo related, food, music, whatever, and I'll answer them the best I can in this video. If you'd like to participate in these future episodes, make sure to tap subscribe to the channel guys to catch when those notifications do go live. So let's get right into the content here. Sam asks, Halo 5 had Warzone. What would be a brand new game mode, for example, of a game mode that you would want to see in Halo Infinite? I know a lot of people have been talking about this. It's a big issue within the community, but I think it needs to be addressing the elephant in the room. I think Battle Royale needs to come to Halo. I actually touched on this on Twitter earlier today, talking about how I think that if Halo was to release a Battle Royale, they should do the exact same way Modern Warfare did, is release the core game as you would expect it to be, and then a few months later, release a Battle Royale. That way, you basically have two huge waves of hype coming to your game. 343 can think of their minds to create some amazing game mode, will not generate as much hype as a Battle Royale. Battle Royale as a game mode is here to stay. PUBG is still very popular, Apex legends blew up and basically saved respawn in my opinion and modern warfare is what like 60 million plus players within the first week of the game coming out of course fortnite being the most popular game of our generation and plus i think there is so much room for halo to carve in their own little niche when it comes to the battle royale uh group of people who want to play that game uh, you guys, you have the amazing Halo AI, you got amazing art styles, these great weapons, the, the gunplay is amazing, and just the gameplay itself, just transpose it over to Halo, be at Battle Royale, it'd be a freaking amazing. All the tools and the sandbox is all there, you got vehicles, all these amazing guns, all you gotta do is just make the map and some spawn points, and I think you're ready to go. Shorthead asks, if it were you to decide what to have in Halo Infinite, would it be Classic Movement or Halo 5 Movement? Also, what is your favorite game ever? Now, when it comes to Classic versus New Wave, whatever kind of movement, uh, it kind of depends how the game is designed. I think Halo 5 plays out really well. I like the advanced movements and the speed and the sprinting and the way the guns play and everything else because the maps and gameplay is designed around that, and so it feels really good. Halo 5 is actually my second favorite multiplayer for Halo, behind Halo 3, so I like both classic and modern. Just depends if the game is tailored to it properly. And also what's my favorite game of all time? Depends what you ask me. If you're talking about shooters, I would definitely say Halo 3. If you're talking about RPG games, I'd probably say Mass Effect 1. Legendary, a friend of the channel. Thank you very much for your continued support. Do you ever think we will ever be able to create AI battles in Forge in future Halo games? I think that Halo Infinite is going to have AI in the Forge mode. I think that's the next big evolution that needs to be done for, to push it forward. Halo 5 did a lot to push Forge in a new direction that really helped it kind of create a whole new community of amazing Forge levels for that game. I always saw Far Cry 5 also add uh, AI battles when it comes to their uh, custom games as well. So I would think Halo would be able to do the same thing. And I think it absolutely needs to be done. Because how awesome would that be? People creating their own campaign missions. Like, that would be pretty freaking sweet. Super geeky. Do you think Halo Infinite will be the end of the Master Chief story? Personally, I don't think so. Master Chief is too much of the face of Xbox gaming as a whole. If uh, worst thing happens and Steve Downs can't voice Master Chief anymore, I think they'll just find somebody else to do it. Uh, it'd be like ending the story of Mario when it comes to Microsoft gaming. And I don't ever see Master Chief ever going away, especially from the backlash that Halo 5 got for having only what three missions featuring playable chief and everything else was playable lock. I think that's what they tried to play around with and it just didn't work out too well. Heretic asks, hi handsome boy. Well hello. My question is when you play Halo for the first time and which year was it? It was Christmas 2001 when I first played Halo 1. I remember I got, I wanted the Xbox for Christmas. I didn't know any games or anything else like that. I knew I just wanted the console. And then my dad, when he bought the console for us for Christmas, I asked, what's the cool game to get? The guy's like, the guy at the store was like, oh dude, Halo's the guy to have game. And if it wasn't for that guy at the store, you never know, I might not have been, end up being a huge Halo fan as I am right now. Hi Hamza, I believe you're pronouncing it correctly there, says, what type of Halo spin-off game would you want to see after Infinite? 
Now I've seen a lot of people talk about this topic and I think the overwhelming go-to is a flood horror game, which I think would certainly work out really well. The themes are there. You just kind of make it, you know? Uh, if I was going to do some, I want to do something a little different though. And I was kind of thinking like a, just like a mission, nothing too grandiose because every game we ever play besides ODST is basically like saving the galaxy. And I would like to see it kind of you know, see if Halo can pull off a much more intimate kind of story. Like I said, ODST touched on this a little bit, and it did a pretty good job of that. And I thought it did, you know, I thought it was a fun thing. I would just like to see some other kind of themes played around with Halo besides just saving the entire galaxy and human race. Obviously, those are much more compelling stories. That's why these big budget games get made with those kind of stories, because they need something that big to make the actions that you're doing in the game matter. Though, I would think it would be awesome if you have a mission to go to a planet. It seems like a mundane task. It turns out to be something a little bit extra. Something like that. I know, I think it'd be pretty interesting. David P. asks, What other games do you play besides Halo? Well, I am a huge Mass Effect fan. If it wasn't for Halo, I'd probably be a Mass Effect YouTuber, which would mean I probably wouldn't be making YouTube videos because Mass Effect Andromeda basically has killed the franchise. So I'm a huge Mass Effect fan, but right now I'm actually currently playing through Jedi Fallen Order, trying to get that done before Halo 2 releases on PC. I've been streaming it on my Twitch channel, so you want to check it out in the description down below. We'd greatly appreciate you guys coming over and following there. I kind of just like, what if I th force throw him into like the water? Like, yeah! <laughs> uh, <laughs> I love the scream. <laughs> the scream was the best. But yeah, you know, I also like play a lot of Battlefield. I actually really enjoy Battlefield 4. I've been playing that again recently. And I also do enjoy playing some Call of Duty Warzone. It's fun. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty good. Xvarin asks, which YouTuber, Halo slash gaming or otherwise, would it be a dream collab? I mean, there there have been plenty of like Halo guys I've always wanted to collab with, like guys like Ubernick, Fletch from Ultimate Halo. I think that'd be fun. Late Night Gaming, Taras, I think would be great. Act Man, I know he's like technically a Halo guy, but he does all like gaming stuff. I think it'd be super cool to be able to collab with those guys a lot. I'm not sorry. asks, are there any game modes you would like 343 to bring back for Halo Infinite? Yes, Extermination. I think that game mode that's in Halo 5 is freaking awesome. It's so much level, the level of strategy you have to put into the game. It's like you have to just ride that momentum so hard and really press the issue that it creates these moments of like really tense moments and then high, high intensity action all at once, trying to get that the whole team down at the same time. I think it's so cool. I would love to see Extermination come back. Another game mode I would absolutely love to see come back is Invasion. I didn't realize I would love that mode as much as I do when Reach came to the PC. I'm absolutely addicted to that mode. I love to see, I love the thematics of that game. I love, love the large scale, I love the vehicle play, the gun, the level of strategy that goes behind that game mode as well. And it's just it all encompassing everything that's Halo. And I think it'd be amazing to come back in Halo Infinite. Joseph Soda, a YouTuber, so go check out his channel, guys. Do you want to see the Flood return in Halo Infinite? Absolutely yes, and I would highly suspect that we will see the Flood coming back in Halo Infinite as it seems very likely this is going to be taking place on Zeta Halo Installation 07. There was a lot of Flood researching that was happening on that ring. Also with I think the very last game DLC that was ever created for Halo so far, which was Awakening the Nightmare in Halo Wars 2, brought back the Flood so there is a way for it to come back. And it does seem like the Banish will be coming back in Halo Infinite, so I think it may be high Highly likely we will see the Flood return in Halo Infinite because we've known that they are trying to channel in that CE energy for Halo Infinite. Highly big influence on Infinite is going to be Combat Evolved and you can't have Combat Evolved without the Flood. So I would bet the house on that one that the Flood will, will return in Halo Infinite. Stefano asks a non-Halo question. What was your favorite place you've ever traveled to? Well, I'd probably say that Hawaii was one of them because when I got to, I proposed to my fiance there and it was an amazing vacation and a great time to see some extended family there. And also I went to Cabo San Lucas uh, during the summer of 2006, yeah. And that was a great time there too. So those are probably my two favorite places I've traveled to. Mark Kendall asks, what kind of music do you listen to? Now, 
I know a lot of people say, well, I listen to a little bit of everything, but do you really? I would say I listen to a fair amount of, a good, of music that I, I would say that I'm rather well-rounded with my tastes. I mean, I do enjoy like electronic music. I can get down with some country if it's not like the new wave pop stuff with the country slang, basically. We're just singing about the same five tropes over and over again. I love rock music. I love metal music. Even some pop music I can get down with, like Lady Gaga, Bruno Mars, bring it on. Like I also get down with some Iron Maiden and Metallica and then get real heavy with some Slipknot and some White Chapel and just bring on the heavy. And then also love Foo Fighters and pop punk and... You know, I definitely would say I'm much more of a rock metal guy, but I do like a lot of other things as well. You might have noticed in a previous video, I was wearing a Ghost t-shirt. Got that at a concert when I went to go see them live. Absolutely love Ghost. Ricky GeForce asks, which battle rifle is your favorite and which is the hardest? My favorite battle rifle would be Halo 2 on the MCC because it's still projectile. Even though everyone says it's hit scan, it's not hit scan. Trust me, it's projectile, but it's about twice as fast as the projectiles in Halo 3. I think Halo 3's projectiles are just too slow for just kind of your standard gameplay. I think in 4v4, it plays like kind of like a hit scan weapon, but it actually is projectile. So you still have to lead your shots a little bit, which means you can translate that over to larger scale modes and make it so it's not so campy and hard to move around. I don't know if you ever played Coag regulation in classic halo 2 you can actually move around the map and you know navigate through and things like that where if you're playing uh, bloodline which is the remake of coagulation on halo 2 anniversary it's basically hiding behind a rock the whole time because your people are shooting lasers at you the whole time it's very hard to move that's why i'm a big fan of projectile weapons in there so i would say that halo 2 battle rifle is my favorite one hardest one to use probably halo 5 because uh, after that nerf, man, that vertical recoil and how it compares to the other weapons in the sandbox, it's the hardest one to do well with. Shahir asks, what inspired you to make Halo videos? I don't know if there was anything necessarily specific that inspired me to do Halo videos. I've been making videos on this channel since 2010 whenever I got a Hoppog HD PVR and I was doing well, mainly Call of Duty videos at the time, but I would mix in some other things. I went over the Battlefield, but I also played a little bit of Reach and stuff like that. And so I've always kind of done a little bit of a mix, but Halo's always been like the game I've loved. And when uh, I saw MCC coming around, I'm like, okay, you know, I tried Call of Duty, I had no success there. I tried Battlefield, had very minimal success there. And I saw Halo, I'm like, dude, Halo's always been my true love. I just need to go all in on this and I'm going to, you know, follow my passion. And that's what happened, basically. And now I'm starting to see some form of success in the last two years on this channel. It's been amazing being able to see uh, the channel grow because of your guys' support, being recognized by the community as well, where I, you know, people like know me, recognize me online and stuff like that. It's pretty crazy because I've spent the majority of my time on YouTube being a complete nobody. And now I'm like, somebody, I guess a little bit. And I kind of found my way doing these kind of news information videos just because I found that that's by, that's kind of my niche I can bring to the uh, community here as I'm not the best at the game. So I can't just upload gameplays because my gameplays kind of suck to be honest. And I'm not like witty and com comedic enough to be able to just do like live commentaries off the fly and just like, you know, think of funny things and say do great things with just all in one take without stuttering or regretting what I said. So uh, I do kind of like semi-scripted news informational videos. That also kind of helped me kind of get more action into the search engine as well. So I kind of just found my way into this kind of content, which I certainly enjoy. I've always wanted to make a channel based on like news information, tips and tricks in an informative format. And I, that's kind of how I found my way into this kind of content. Karate Girl 316, long time follower of the channel, one of the best mods I've ever had, <laughs> asks, when will the Halo Christmas album come out? Now, if you guys are new to the channel, you probably noticed that but every year for the last four years now, I've put out a new Christmas song that's gaming related, mainly Halo. I did have one year that I did Destiny 2, but it was a good video, don't get me wrong. So I think maybe after this year, I could probably even put together a small EP of all the songs I've created for a Halo for Christmas. Now, this one would be very interesting as we have a new Halo game coming out. So I'll have to think of something much more grandiose about uh, the experience of Halo Infinite. So yeah, that's the entire video. I'm sorry if I didn't get to your question. If you left one in the comments of the post, I will make sure to do further ones of these. So make sure if you have your own com questions, leave it in the comment section down below, or we'll look out for that post when it does go live so we can do some more Q&A kind of videos. So thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you enjoyed these kind of videos, make sure to tap that like button so let me know you want to see some more content like this. If you're new to the channel and love Halo stuff and want to stay informed with all the stuff going on, make sure you tap subscribe. And if you missed any kind of videos from me, check out the content on the screen right over here. Got a playlist to all my news information videos if you've been out of the loop for the last few days. So thank you so much for watching, and I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.